Alex Eubank is currently, as in right now, not natural. And finally, I caught you. Alex Eubank posted a video, my test levels coming clean. And by the end of the video, you're going to agree with Coach Greg that Alex Eubank is currently, as in right now, not natural. And as you know, I stated in the past, I believe he did SARMs. Thought he did SARMs and then stopped the SARMs. And then later on, as in the past couple of months, he's been taking something of which I'm going to say exactly what it is. I haven't had much caffeine today. I'm trying to chill a little bit and cleanse so I can like reset my androgen receptors. Alex Eubanks cutting down on the caffeine. He hasn't been training as hard. He's been slacking off in the gym. Been eating more. Eating whatever he wants. Going to fast food points. Enjoying the life. He's trying to paint the picture that because because of all of this, it allows his testosterone levels to go through the roof. And remember, I'm on HRT. I, in fact, inject testosterone and his testosterone levels, well, they're higher than mine. This is a guy who was formerly hypogonadal, testosterone levels around 225. He blamed it on the fact that he had died, that he hadn't eaten enough, that he had gotten to single digit body fat. And a lot of people, they bought that. They believed him. Why wouldn't you? Good looking, young, charismatic guy. Why would we not believe in him? But no, Coach Greg, you know I'm going to tell you what I think. Unbiased and unfiltered. I said, I don't believe it. I believe he took SARMs at this point and then he got off. And so he's benching two plates for nine reps. He doesn't want to exert himself. He's holding back a little bit. I had two more, but I don't want to overexert myself. He claims his testosterone levels in the past are down because of stress, overworking, getting too lean to 9% body fat. But now that he's slacking off and got super fat, oh my goodness, look how bloated I am. Look at my physique. He says himself, it's about 13% body fat. He goes through the poses, etc. but the guy looks absolutely incredible. So he went from 9% body fat as his lean is shredded to now 13% body fat. It's about four extra percent. That's not much. For most people that could take two to perhaps four weeks of eating freely. I'm extremely bloated right now. I feel like a fat ass. I feel like I just have gas in me. Probably because I had McDonald's last night and the night before that I had Taco Bell. And so I'm extremely bloated right now. I'm a fat ass. I ate McDonald's. McDonald's, indigestion, woe is me, look at my physique. Remember, I've stated in the past, I do believe that Alex Eubank has body dysmorphia. You can debate me if you want, but does this look like a guy who's a bloated fat ass to you? Props to Alex Eubank to have the bravery to unveil the physique with all that going on, all that extra body fat, the Taco Bells, the McDonald's, eating whatever he wants, not training harder than the last time in the gym. Probably because I had McDonald's last night and the night before that I had Taco Bell and then I had crumble cookie. It's honestly been tragic. I'll show you the physique after literally eating whatever the hell I want for the last two months and doing like no cardio. I can't even take my freaking wife beat her off. And so it's absolutely tragic. He can't remove the shirt. It's absolutely horrible. The unveiling of the guy hasn't done cardio two weeks. It's horrible. It's it's tragic. It's tragic. It's I don't know what to say. Some of you guys might not be able to tell, but if you like, I can tell based on where I look like right here. So when I do this pose, I mean, at his leanest in comparison to now, yeah, I gained a little bit of fat. Remember what I've always stated? 15% body fat. Have I stated Alex Eubank should remain at 9% body fat? Or have I stated healthy body fat for you. Perhaps 13% this look is exactly where he should be. Why would he bulk and cut when he feels perfect like this? But notice mentally, he doesn't like this look. He thinks he has to again go on a mini cut. He's going to film the whole thing and then bulk up again, film that too. Why not just look the way you look? You look incredible. Stay at this point. Testosterone levels now are through the roof. So especially we'll get into that. But why not maintain this look right now? And so those of you watching this, do not think this is fat. Although Alex thinks he's bloated in a mess, this is amazing. For no diet and no cardio, we're looking all right. And so he's trying to paint the picture that, well, because I stopped doing cardio and I'm not dieting anymore, it's allowed my testosterone levels to go literally through the roof. And so is that the secret? All we have to do to put on a bunch of muscles to stop training, stop working out so hard, relax all day long, eat McDonald's, get bloated, have Taco Bell, Bell, and that will recover your testosterone levels and make them through the roof higher than when you're on HRT. You know what I could do with this video that would be so easy is to show my blood work, my recent blood work, and show how my test went high. But I already know it's going to create controversy. I mean, it writes itself. 
Uh, you know what? I got some good content. I'm going to show my testosterone levels, but I know it's going to create some controversy. He knows it. He knows because it's that high. It's like I don't even take my fish oil or my multivitamin. I forget to take that. I forget to take my D3 in the morning. How am I going to remember to take anything else? Like, I don't know. I'm already defending myself. Why would he already creating a defense if he was actually innocent? Oh, you know, I can't even remember to take vitamin D or fish oil. I can't remember to take this or that. And so clearly I could never remember to take a performance enhancing drugs. The fact that I forget to take a multivitamin, that's proof that I could never be unnatural. Because I know much I love like Greg Doucette that if I show my blood work, him, we we'll place more dates. All these guys are gonna make a video. Alex Eubank confirmed not natty. Exactly. And here's the video. Are you ready for it? Alex Eubank confirmed not natural. His words and me repeating them. This is the most genetically blessed I've been. And so this is the most genetically blessed he's been so far. Genetically blessed doesn't change over time. It's in your genetics. You can't change your genetics. And so he's been eating whatever he wants and not doing cardio and suddenly he looks way bigger than last time. Remember, he's not fat. Those of you who say, oh, Coach Greg's main gaining doesn't work. Does Alex Lubank look like he got fat? My advice to Alex would be to main gain at 13% body fat. Why not stay here? And so imagine if Alex Eubank were actually natural right now at 13% body fat, would there be any reason for him to go on a bulk? Why would he not maintain this right now? But remember, I don't think he's natural. I'm going to state what exactly I think he's taking. I'm definitely resting a lot more. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. My workouts are not nearly as intense as they used to be. Uh, I used to train a lot more harder, a lot more consistently. And so he used to train harder than last time, but since then, he's decided to train easy. He's taken his time, he's eaten McDonald's, Wendy's, and so on. And that is the reason why his physique has suddenly got better. And so, you know, the secret really is you slack off in the gym, you don't do cardio, and you eat whatever you want, and you make amazing progress. Why are you all progressively overloading? Why are you training harder than last time? That's not the secret. Just slack off and you'll become amazing. Uh, I really should not do this. I want to talk about my testosterone levels being just ex extraordinarily, not extraordinarily, still in the natural range, but just being way higher than they were. And so let's just talk about how my testosterone levels are extraordinarily high. And then he corrects himself. Uh, not extraordinarily high, you know, in the top end of the normal range for some people in the world. Does it look like he's bulked up to 20%? Does it look look like it should be that much higher. This is somebody who was formerly hypogonadal, testosterone levels around 225, who claimed it was 100% natural. And so if you claim to be hypogonadal due to being at 9% body fat and you increase your levels to 13%, yeah, it could go up, perhaps from 200 something to 400 something, maybe to his all time best of even 600 plus, maybe. But would it be higher than Coach Greg's highest level that I've been on HRT in years? Would it be higher than 800? Would it be higher than 900? Well, let's see. Greg and them might make a little video on it, but I'm still claiming 100% natural. And so Greg and them might make a video on it, but I'm still claiming 100% natural. And so although he knows that after I see this blood work, I'm going to say he's not natural, he still claims he's 100% natural. But why bother? Does anyone think that Alex Eubank is actually natural at this point? Well, perhaps you still do because we haven't finished the video. So I have it in front of me. So total testosterone was 932. Reference range was 250 to 1100. Total testosterone, 932. Let that sink in. Alex Eubank's highest previous total, just over 600. But more recently, it was at 225 and just over 400. And with that alone, that is not enough evidence. That's not proof. But let's examine the other numbers that go along with it. The sex hormone binding globulin, whatever that is. And so SHBG, sex hormone binding globulin, is what combines to the testosterone level to make it active versus inactive. And so if you have very low SHBG, your free or bioavailable testosterone, the testosterone you can actually use, is going to be a lot higher. And so the lower that number, the more the testosterone you're going to feel. The higher that number, the less of the testosterone you're going to feel. And so because his testosterone levels are over 900, very high, and that he's 100% natural, combine the fact that he's very lean. 13% is very lean. It's at a very high percentage. He's not 15 or 20%. And so the lower your body fat percentage, the higher your SHBG will be. The sex hormone binding globulin, whatever that is, is 23. Albumin, 4.4. 23. 23, not 33, not 43, not 53, 23, very low. 
And so, yeah, it's in the reference range. But remember, his testosterone levels are at the 98th percentile. And so his SHBG, very low, much lower than the average person. And remember, the leaner you are, the higher you would expect SHBG to be. And so if Alex Eubank were to continue to diet, for example, to 9% body fat, SHBG would be even higher. And so despite the fact his testosterone might be in the 900s, his free testosterone would be even lower. And so assuming that this guy was natural because he's so lean, I would have expected his SHBG to be closer to 40, perhaps even 50. I would say 30 to be a generous cutoff, yet here he is at 20. Three. And so could it simply be that he's simply taking testosterone? When you're on HRT, clearly it's going to increase your testosterone levels. It also lowers SHBG. And on top of that, you'll end up with higher than last time free testosterone. But more often than not, when you approach levels around eight, 900 plus, if you're taking HRT, your HDL cholesterol is going to go down. And so let's examine what his cholesterol levels are. Uh, my free test was 196.2. And so his free test, 196. 6.2. And so let's simply Google what a regular free test range would be. Optimal results. Remember, optimal. 35 to 155 picograms per milliliter. And so his results, 196. Optimal, 35 to 155. Yet he's at 196. And so in comparison, does anyone remember Igor Vitruvian physique, a natural bodybuilder? Well, he got his blood work done. And when he got on a diet, do you know what happened? His total testosterone was actually pretty high, but his free testosterone was in the toilet, was in the tank. And why? Because his SHBG was so high. The leader you get, the higher SHBG. Yet Alex Eubanks' SHBG is only 23, which allows his free testosterone to be above optimal. Remember, above optimal. His blood work, very similar to me, and I'm on HRT. But let us examine his cholesterol. Cholesterol 149. And so his cholesterol all normal. And so in my opinion, I don't believe he's on a low dose of testosterone. The previous blood work, it looked like he was on testosterone, but because his cholesterol is so healthy, I don't believe he's on HRT. But there's something else that I do believe he's taking. Yeah, so my test is a lot better. What I honestly, genuinely, I talked earlier in this video about it. I just honestly think it's because I'm not restricting myself whatsoever. I'm placing a lot, a lot less stress on my body overall. I'm just not training nearly as hard or consistently as I was. I'm a lot more content oriented. It's just been a little bit more hectic instead of like more dialed in. I'm um, not doing as much cardio. And so he attributes these amazing results in his blood work to the fact that he's not training as hard. He's slacking off and just eating whatever he wants. Wants. But based on the physical evidence, as in his body and his presentation of it, it doesn't look like he's gained a lot of body fat. He's still, in his words, 13%, and in the eyes of his viewers, they think he's even leaner. Remember, he's gotten bigger, looks more full, and so what else could it be? Have you ever heard of enclomiphen? Enclomiphen is given to people with lower levels of testosterone. It's a performance enhancing drugs and it would raise your total testosterone and your free and bioavailable testosterone. And it can do so without negatively impacting your cholesterol. Alex Eubank could have used enclomiphen in secret, not testosterone, and made these major gains in his testosterone levels and benefited in the gains made in his physique. Honestly, just I feel a lot better. I'm sleeping more. Yeah, honestly, overall, I just definitely feel the difference of not having like low tests when I'm like shredded like I was last year, all year. And so he literally feels the difference of not having low test. He feels like he's getting better sleep. He's making more gains in the gym. Even without training as hard, he can eat more what he wants. He doesn't have to do cardio, slacking off in the gym, and he feels a lot better. All could be attributed to adding in enclomiphen. And please don't confuse this with clomid. I know enclomiphene sounds like clomid, but clomid is a combination of zooclomiphen and enclomiphene. But all you need to know is enclomiphen is a performance enhancing drug that can raise your testosterone levels and would revoke your natty card. Many people who are on HRT, for example, they don't want to inject HRT for the rest of their life. They could opt to stop taking HRT and add in enclomiphen and perhaps gradually reduce that dose. And so now that I've presented all the evidence, what do you believe? Do you believe that Alex went from the second percentile to the 98th percentile by increasing his calories and slacking off in the gym, not doing cardio? 
being stress-free? Or do you think it was a result of enclomiphen? Remember, I've ruled out HRT. I don't believe he's taking that. I believe that Alex Eubank just wanted a small edge. Enough that no one could call him out. No one would say, wow, you put on 10 pounds of muscle. How did you do that? but just a small advantage, one that he did not believe you could attain through regular supplements, but that you could with performance-enhancing drugs, namely in clomiphene. Now, if you don't want to resort to using HRT or other performance-enhancing drugs, I do have three things. G-Test, GO2max, and ActiBuilder. These three in combination, you would be shocked at what you can achieve. And so please let me know in the comments section, do you believe Coach Greg, do you believe that Alex Eubank is not natural? Or do you believe Alex Eubank? I do believe I've painted an evidence beyond reasonable doubt. I don't think that it makes sense that he made all these gains while being 100% natural. I do believe he was on SARMs of some sort in the past. If he's been a lifetime natural and was hypogonadal 225 nanograms per deciliter, the second percentile, and he just ate a little bit more food and slacked off and now it's suddenly at 930 plus? Really? You think that that's possible. Do you really believe that that's what happened? Or do you think that Coach Greg is more right than last time? Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Did you like this video? If you liked it, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Do me that favor. Remember, if you don't want to buy any of my supplements and the cookbooks and all that stuff, offer a free up to 50 page diet and training program. Remember, it's free up to 50 pages. Just enter your first and last name and email address and it's coming straight to your door. Don't forget to watch those two bloops, cookbooks, train books, coaching plans by me and my team, that circle diet book and the harder than last time clothing line, clothing optional. And until next time, I am out.